The Lockheed F-94 Starfire was a two-seat American all-weather day and night interceptor, used by the U.S. Air Force. It was developed from the Lockheed T-33 Shooting Star trainer in the late 1940s, and replaced the F-82 twin Mustang in the interceptor role. It was the first U.S. Air Force jet fighter that used an afterburner. In 1948, the U.S. Air Force issued a specification for a radar-equipped interceptor, intended to replace the F-61 Black Widow and the F-82 twin Mustang. The replacement needed to be designed to counter the threat of the Soviet Tupolev Tu-4 bombers. The Curtis Wright XF-87 Blackhawk was intended to be the first night fighter of the U.S. Air Force, but it proved to have poor performance. Instead, the task to design a new jet night fighter was given to Lockheed. The F-94 was developed from the T-33A Shooting Star, which was a two-seat trainer version of the F-80 Shooting Star. The nose was lengthened to accommodate guns and an ANAPG-33 radar. The Hughes E-1 automatic fire control system was also added. Lockheed was awarded the contract in early 1949, and the first flight was made on April 16 the same year. The first YF-94s had 75% of parts used in the F-80s and T-33s. A more powerful, after-burning version of the Allison J-33 turbojet was used, which reduced the internal fuel capacity. The first production version was the F-94A, which entered service in May 1950. It was armed with four fuselage-mounted M3 Browning machine guns. It could carry drop tanks beneath its wingtips, which could be replaced by 1,000-pound bombs. The F-94A was not liked by its crews, mainly because of its unreliable engine. The aircraft was also unstable, and hard to maneuver at high altitude. The cockpit was narrow, and the clearance for the ejection seats was too small, which resulted in tragic accidents during emergency ejections. The F-94B entered service in January 1951, and was visually very similar to the F-94A. The engine had however been modified, and was very reliable. The cockpit had more room, and the canopy had been redesigned. It was also equipped with an instrument landing system. The F-94B was a very reliable aircraft, and had relatively few problems. Several F-94As were upgraded to F-94B standard. The F-94 was extensively modified, and was actually initially designated the F-97. The Air Force was not very interested, and Lockheed funded the F-94C themselves. Two F-94B were converted to YF-94Cs, and had a much thinner wing and a swept tail surface. The Allison J-33 engine was replaced by a more powerful Pratt and Whitney J-48. The fire control system as well as the radar was also upgraded. The guns were removed, and was replaced by rockets mounted in a ring around the nose. The first F-94C was delivered in July 1951. The nose-mounted rockets proved to be problematic, and later mid-wing rocket pods were added to the leading edges. Most of the time the nose rockets were not fitted. An F-94D prototype was also built, but the version was never accepted for production. The F-94B served in the Korean War, where it flew combat missions over North Korea, as well as air defense alert over Seoul. Later they flew interception missions over South Korea and the Yellow Sea. In 1952, F-94s also flew combat air patrols for B-29 Superfortress missions at night. The last F-94 was retired from active duty in the Air Force in November 1957. After retirement from the Air Force, the F-94 served with the Air National Guard until 1959. A total of 855 Starfires were produced.